Hello friends, in today's video I will tell you how you can manage multiple secure node addresses easily without affecting the staking amount of 40 to Zen. If you are using Ledger, then you must already know that you don't control from where your cryptos are deducted and the issues with the random addresses created by Ledger. This is a security feature to keep us safe, but sometimes it's not beneficial especially when you want your stake address to be unaffected. So let's take an example. So suppose you have an address A with 40 to Zen. Address A, 40 to Zen. Now you have one more address, address B with 5 Zen. Now suppose you want to sell 5 Zen from your address B. If you are using Ledger, you don't exactly have the control to tell from where the amount should get deducted. It can get deducted from address A or it can also get deducted from address B. But since A is your staking address, you don't want that 42 to be affected. So what you can do is, you can send all your 42 plus 5 Zen to address A. Now from address A, you can easily sell 5 Zen and you can be assured that there are 42 Zen in your staking address address but sometimes it is not how ledger works so what basically ledger does in this case is it internally converts address A to address C and this address C is linked to your account so your account balance remains 42 but the thing is that the funds get transferred from address A to address C for security purpose. But we don't want the address A that is the secure node staking address to have less than 42 Zen at any conditions because we will start getting exceptions and we won't get rewarded for that day. Now coming to the second scenario. For example, you have around 126 Zen using which you can create three secure nodes. So in order to do that, you have to create three secure node addresses which can contain 42 Zen each like uh, this address A has 126 Zen so considering this case you can send 42 Zen to one address like address B and next 42 Zen to address C so as I've discussed in the previous scenario ledger sometimes internally converts the addresses from address A to some other address. In that case it will be very difficult to maintain multiple secure node addresses in a single ledger. And the problem will also come when you suppose try to withdraw the Zen rewards from address C not from address A or B. So that time you don't know from which account actually the Zen will get deducted. Basically you don't have any control on how to manage your Zen addresses. So in today's video, I'm going to explain how you can easily solve this problem of managing multiple addresses in a single ledger. So I'll be using the ledger live to segregate the accounts so that I can have multiple accounts in a single ledger without affecting any other accounts. So to do that, I have to click on add account. So as soon as I click on add account, it will ask me what kind of asset I want to add. So you can already see I have a account added, but I can add multiple accounts. Okay, so I've selected Horizon. Now I have to open the app in my ledger. So as soon as I open, this tick mark comes over here and I have to click on continue. So here it will list down all the accounts. So as you can see, here we have a section called Accounts Already Added in Portfolio. So if you click on this, you can view that uh, this is the account that is added in my portfolio. And I have a idle account over here, which has some few amount of Zen. And also I can add a new account. So I can name it Secure Node 2. And I will select this. And I don't want this account to be visible in my account, so I can unselect this and click on add account. And account got successfully added. And since I don't want to add more, I can just close this window. And uh, it starts synchronizing. Okay, now since, since I have two different addresses, so these two are isolated from each other. 
like if I want to send Zen from the secure node 2 to some other address then this first horizon account won't be affected similarly if I want to send from horizon account to some other addresses secure node 2 won't be affected so I will try to receive funds okay I have to open the horizon app on my device Okay, I have already opened it. Uh, looks like it is taking some time to detect. Okay, it has detected. We need to verify the account in our device. Okay, so address looks to be fine in my device. Let me paste it over here. And since I verified this device, I will close this. And from this account, I will try to send some amount to the secure node 2 address so let's send now you can see you have got options to select from which account you want to debit and let me clarify again one account can contain multiple addresses you don't have the control from which address to send but you have the control to select which account you want to send from so I will say select horizon first account and I will paste my second address sorry second account address and the amount I want to send for this demo is 0.01 Zen which is equivalent to 0.16 after entering the amount and selecting the network fees I have to click on continue and open the horizon app on my device it is already open so I have to click on continue okay so I think there is some issue in the ledger live app but uh, that does not mean that my account is uh, not useful. I can still use Ledger Wallet Bitcoin app to send Zen from my first account to my Secure Note 2 accounts. So let's try that. So first of all, I will open my Zen in my Ledger. Ledger Live is the newest version of uh, Ledger, so it has a lot of bugs. Definitely, they will resolve with time. But meanwhile, for my demo, I need to send some funds so let's do that quickly I'll again send 0.01 then to my address let me copy the address back over here and high confirmation fees okay send preparing the transaction okay so now it is asking in my ledger to confirm the transaction so I will cross verify it the last is LX8A okay it's same so I'll confirm so I've confirmed it as soon as I confirm it sent the transaction so now let's go back to the ledger and see whether the transaction was successful or not okay let me close this over here so now secure node 2 is synchronizing okay so now as you can see that I have received the funds in my secure node 2 account and uh, from the first account and if I go and see the same in the horizon app that is the chrome app you can see over here now I have got three accounts so this third one I created recently for this demo and in future if I want to liquidate this amount I can easily liquidate without affecting my other secure node accounts so friends this is how you can maintain multiple accounts like if you have 10 secure nodes you can just create 10 accounts over here and manage them individually so friends hopefully this video was helpful for you to understand how to maintain various accounts in ledger and don't worry if you delete this account by mistake from the ledger live you can always recover it back by clicking on add accounts this is a simple process no need to panic in case you delete it by mistake if you want to delete it you can just uh, click on this edit account and just delete it but that does not mean that your funds are deleted it, funds will still be there only thing is that the account won't be visible in the account portfolio section and if you find this video helpful please do like share and subscribe to our channel techno savior thank you